Good evening. And welcome to the virtual Winter Whirly Gig. Whirly Widio. You're wearing a hat? What? I have to do something about that. Winter Whirly Gig is a series of performances by all year groups here at ISCA and staff and students revealing what Christmas means to them and a cavalcade of corny cracker jokes. This year's been a little bit different so we've had to film things in a Covid friendly way. Everything has been filmed over three weeks in year group bubbles and socially distanced. There's also a staff item near the end of the performance. Up first a year nine performing War Is Over but first a crummy cracker joke. What goes O O O? Santa reversing. So this is Christmas. And what have you done? Another year over. And a new one just begun. So Merry Christmas.
Word Year 9 fabulous. They've only had a term of music and they're fantastic. Next, crap a joke. How does Darth Vader know what he's got for Christmas? He felt his presence. We did a staff quiz in which we asked the members of staff at ISCA what the weirdest present they've given or received at Christmas was. Some of the answers included... Mr Hayden, a kiwi fruit. Miss Ward, a six foot model giraffe. Ms Lyons, asked for a place on a dry stone walling course. And my answer, in which my auntie gave the whole family a ball of string, but not a new ball of string, it was wrapped on a roll of plaster and tied with a ribbon, it was really pants. Next they were asked, purchases of which present doubled between 2008 and 2018? And the answers are on the screen for you to choose now. Most staff, if it helps, thought that the answer was smartphones, and two of them thought it was Lego. I don't think that'd be much help. And now we have the Year 7 Choir performing Winter Wonderland. That was year seven, aren't they cute? Next up, we have another who wants to be a millionaire question. And this time the staff are asked, what is Jesus's birthday? If it's helpful, staff thought the 6th of January, 27th of January, the 24th of March, 25th of March, the 1st of April, the 25th of April, 12th of December, 21st of December, and a third of them said the 25th of December. Most of them thought he was born in the year 0001, although a quarter of them said 0002, 0003, 0004. Next up, we have the Powder and Supergroup with Mariah Carey's smash hit, All I Want For Christmas Is You. But before then, I have a question, Miss Van. What is a snowman's favourite food? Icebergers.
What a fantastic performance. Mr Carter, who hides in the bakery at Christmas? A mince spy. The next millionaire's question. Starting from London, if you lined up the Brussels sprouts purchased for Christmas, to which other city would they reach? If it helps, a quarter of the staff thought Edinburgh. Up next is the Year 8 Choir singing Wonderful Christmas Time. Another brilliant performance there, well done. Another item from our staff quiz. We asked staff what their most notable memory of Christmas was, and some of the answers included... Miss Toomey, my brother sticking a bead in his nose when he was about five, and a &E was empty. Mr Page, definitely catching his first Pokemon on Pokemon Yellow on Game Boy. Next millionaire question now. There have been Royal Institution Christmas lectures on topics such as a soap bubble, what chickens are made of, and the ice cream that will freeze granny. But who gave the first lecture, and in which year was it delivered? Options on the screen. If it helps, some staff thought that it was Attenborough in 1935, Newton in 1705, Darwin in 1860, and Queen Victoria in 1878. Next up, we have Year 10 performing Merry Christmas, everyone.
Woo! Well, that's got me in the festive mood. Next up, we have some students from our incredibly diverse community explaining what Christmas means to them. Um, well, we'd usually kind of just eat a meal. Um, we open our presents on the 25th, but they usually open their presents on the 24th because um, I'm not sure why, but they do. And we also, because the night before, we'll have eaten Norwegian porridge, which is, it's a bit like rice pudding. It's hard to explain. And then they'll turn the leftovers from that into a dessert. And then we'll have that the next day with like, some jam and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, просто сижу за столом со своей мамой и папой, и мы просто едим много еды. And that means that I, I just sit at the table with my mom and dad, and we eat a bunch of food. Well, normally I would uh, go like outside and play, and then afterwards go back. Uh, listen to my African music and all that. Then afterwards, uh, just have a, a family like dinner with some friends, you know. And then, yeah, that's it. Jadinya aku nggak merayakan Natal di Indonesia, tapi keluarga teman aku merayakan. Jadinya aku tahu sedikit tentang tentang Natal. Jadinya itu mereka merayakan Natal dengan datang ke gereja. Abis mereka datang ke gereja, mereka makan makanan khusus yang tidak biasa dihidang sehari-hari. Makanan itu, uh, makanan itu bisa berbeda-beda dari dari darah mereka. Uh, well, uh, I don't really celebrate Christmas, but I know a bit of it. So people in Indonesia will go to the church. And they'll pray. After they pray, they'll eat special foods that they don't eat normally. But those foods depend on where they live, because Indonesia, Indonesia is like a small chunk, and like just like a bunch of islands into one country. I'm bored of this Basically, I'm just going to stay. But I'm, I'm local. Local, I'm going to go there. I'm local, but I'm staying. Look, a bond is astala. So great lights astala, decorations been astala, this kun. And you got much atale. Everyone used to come to our house. We used to be together, have fun. The lights were everywhere. We had a great time. Ah, uh, I don't break up. <laughs> Woo! That got me even more in the festive mood. Next up, we have another millionaire's question. We ask staff, 50% of which workforce continues to work on Christmas Day? Options are on the screen. 75% of staff thought the emergency services and NHS staff. One thought elves. One thought postmen, despite being on Christmas Day, a day famous for postal deliveries. Next up, we have Year 11 performing Snowman.
That was fab. Here are some more of the students from our diverse community explaining what Christmas means to them. Min favoritmat är er norsk det är er risengrött för det och jag lika hade med siltetöj eller socker och smör. I really like the rice pudding and it's nice and we'll have it with like cinnamon and butter and sugar in it. I just I love it a lot. My grandma was used to do like you had this um I forgot what's called beef meat, and then you had some lettuce, and then you put the beef meat inside the lettuce. But it wasn't like normal, like uh, beef meat. It was like I don't know how to call it, like those small beets, like mice, stuff like that. I can't remember how it's called. And then you put it to boil, and then after that, you just eat it with like you put meat inside of it. So it's made with rice and beef and eggs and. And that's all. And then you just put inside the lens. I didn't boil it. Probably Halloween because we get to dress up and go trick or treating. Um, j'aime Halloween et une fois, ma, moi et ma sœur, um, on était une panda et un lion. Yeah, I once went in a panda onesie and my sister went in a lion onesie and we went round um, our little neighbourhood. Okay, so during the year we don't really have any specific celebrations that I look forward to in Polish, but we do celebrate Halloween differently compared to other countries, um, especially this country. We celebrate it by respecting our loved ones who have passed away instead of dressing up in scary costumes, uh, I guess. Um, but of Easter holidays uh, is always celebrated with actual eggs, not chocolate eggs. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, my family, and me especially, are looking forward to a new year. Because usually around the new year time, we celebrate about the new year coming ahead, and Christian family usually celebrate, say, we can make a good start and leave all those bad things that we did in the past behind. Uh, I mean, for my religion, it's significant because the 25th represents Jesus Christ because I'm Christian and it's really important for my house. Because my family is Christian, we would usually think Christmas as a time of Jesus getting born because my whole family is really Christian. For me, Rождество is just to be happy with family and to get gifts and there's a lot of food. Um, I said that Christmas for me is having fun with my family and eating lots of food. Another item from the staff quiz. We asked them, what's the most surprising Christmas fact that you know? Some of the answers included... Miss Charles, the Anglo-Saxon translation of the word mistletoe is done on a stick. Mr Priest, Rudolph is a girl. Two professors from Edinburgh University said female reindeer still have antlers at Christmas, whereas males shed theirs before mid-December. The next millionaire's question. The Queen broadcast a speech at 3pm on Christmas Day, but who wrote the first Christmas speech and how long was it? Some of the answers. Mr Priest said, Big Kev and 37 seconds. I'm thinking that's a winner. Next up, we've got Marcel playing the guitar. But first, Mr. Carter, what's the carol that they sing in the desert? Oh, camel, you faithful.
um, kind of messed up. Isn't he amazing? Miss Valens, what do you call Father Christmas on the beach? Sandy Claus. Now, another staff quiz question. We asked them, what is your favourite Christmas song? 36% of staff said Fairy Tale of New York. But Mr Page said, his is the darkness. Don't let the bells end. Another millionaire question. When was the first time Christmas was celebrated on December 25th? The options are on the screen. Staff guesses include 325, the 500s, the 1200s, 1576, 1652 and the 1800s. Next up, we have the staff with their boom whackers. Whack away. Weren't the staff great? The next millionaire staff quiz question is Describe Santa as he was first depicted. The answers are on screen to guess. Mr Hayden thought A saint who drove a sled giving presents to unfortunate children. And Miss Tobenhouse said A rich nobleman for Saint Nicholas may be in green. As you can tell, staff haven't got a clue. Up next, performing is Year 10 and Imagine. But first a cracker joke. Hey Jimmy. What goes ho ho, whoosh, ho ho, whoosh. Santa in a revolving door. <laughs> that one's actually funny. <laughs> No heaven, it's easy 
if you try no hell below us above us only sky imagine all the people living That's it, that's the end. That was the last performance of the Virtual Winter Whirly Gig, Whirly Video 2020. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Thank you to all the staff and students that made it possible. So Merry Christmas, and here's to a great 2021. Good night. <laughs>